All right, folks, today is the day, closing day up here on Hawthorne Court, a custom house we built up here. Um, and we'll take you through for the full IGTV tour today. A uh, few notes here on the exterior, uh, pretty soft, kind of bright white uh, exterior here. So we've got some nice light gray, hardy siding there. Uh, brick accenting in the, in the skirt there and then some nice white uh, shakes up in there with some white uh, trim details and that too. We also did some uh, uh, windows above the garage doors um, so that's just a nice little touch to let some natural light into the garage and it gives it a little bit of a trim out feature as well. Uh, some stats on this house, uh, it's a 1,784 square foot bungalow with about a thousand square feet finished in the basement. And uh, yeah, we'll take you inside here and show you around. So coming up here onto the front porch, um, one thing to note, this front door will be painted. It's just white for now, but we've done this nice cathedral ceiling uh, through the front porch to sort of, or sorry, sorry through to the uh, front entry to sort of uh, give it a little bit more definition and, and give the front entry a little bit more uh, detail. And then we've got this nice hanging fixture here as well, which is a bit of a statement piece too. So we come right in through here. One thing to note here as well, we've got a combination touchscreen um, deadbolt set here and some nice black uh, hardware on the door there. So we come right inside here and we enter into the foyer. Obviously these stairs go down to the finished basement. This door here goes to the garage. That is a coat closet right there. And then we've done a little bit of a custom made a uh, little bench detail here to give somewhere to hang uh, coats and sit down to put your boots on and things like that. Um, this nice laminate flooring does carry all the way up to the front door here and all the way back through the living room there, which we'll take you in just a minute. Um, one other thing to note here, and it's become sort of famous, uh, we've done a ton of these X box beam details. Nice stained in place detail there with the hanging light fixture. Sort of gives a nice visual effect to the front foyer. Uh, sort of defines the space a little bit there. So it's a really nice detail there in the front. And of course this beautiful uh, front door here, sort of craftsman style front door with some uh, rain glass and the side lights for privacy, but it still lets lots of natural light through and it, it gives a nice visual effect all the way through the front porch there uh, from the inside of the house too. So, um, as I mentioned, 1,784 square feet. There's three bedrooms on the main floor, so we'll go through the two to begin with. This is a front bedroom here. It could be used as a flex room, office, den, all that kind of stuff, um, but it is classified as a bedroom as well. It's got a, actually got a small walk-in closet there as well, good size window at the front, and we've got this laminate flooring that carries right into this bedroom as well. So, and then straight ahead of me in this uh, hallway here is a linen closet. So lots of places or lots of space there to keep your uh, towels and linens and things like that. This is the main bath. Um, so this bathroom we use uh, services these two front bedrooms as well as any guest uh, use as well. A couple things to note in this uh, bathroom here. Really cool flooring. I really like this sort of subtle pattern on the flooring. This is a vinyl tile flooring here, so um, it's good and durable, soft, warm, um, really nice. We've been doing a ton of vinyl tile over the years. We've got the uh, tub shower module here with some black uh, fixtures in it. Um, so easy to clean, pretty straightforward there. And then this uh, vanity here is a floating vanity. A nice floating clean vanity there, gray colors, nice. The, the top on it here is a quartz countertop um, with an undermount sink. And then we've got a black fixture there that matches in with the uh, light fixture and the mirror there as well. So a really nice uh, main bathroom there um, for guests and uh, folks that are living in these front bedrooms. So here's this other bedroom here on this side. So good size bedroom here. You've got a ceiling fan up in this one as well. So sort of your bed will go on this wall and uh, good size window facing out towards the side yard. And then we've actually got a small walk-in closet here as well. Um, I can get the light on, there we go. 
Lots of room there for all your clothes storage in that walk-in closet there. Okay, so then we'll take you back out of this sort of front wing of the house and back into the front foyer through the front hallway here. And then this comes into the main great room. So uh, one thing to note here, if I can just back up a little bit, we go from nine foot ceiling right here and then it jumps up into the living room to an 11 foot ceiling. The entire living room is an 11 foot ceiling and then it jumps back down to nine feet into the kitchen and dining room there. So really, really nice, uh, sort of gives it a more grand feel here in the living room. And we've done great big, huge window that looks out to the uh, rear porch, uh, rear covered porch there. And then we've got uh, electric fireplace insert here. So uh, just a nice, simple electric fireplace insert. And then we've done this nice shiplap surround uh, with a box beam that actually that stain matches the box beam stain in the front hallway as well. Uh, so a little bit of continuity there. And then we've uh, done a shadow box here for the TV. So it'll sort of inlay into the surround there. And we've done this nice miter detail here on the ship lap, which is really clean look and looks really cool. So um, nice uh, living room there. And then of course, just off the living room as with the open concept here is the kitchen. Um, so beautiful kitchen here. Good size island. Um, we've got quartz countertop all throughout the kitchen. We've uh, done a bit of a two-tone effect here. So a little bit of a lighter gray color on the island. And then the cabinets themselves are white. Walk-in pantry back there in the, in the corner. Um, we've got a nice pot filler here as well with the black fixtures. Again, there's lots of black. Uh, accenting going on. We've got some black handles here and pulls as well as black uh, that pot filler there is black and and the uh, plumbing fixtures are black as well and even the light fixtures are black. So a really nice kitchen in here. Uh, if you come around to this side of the island we've got a uh, built-in uh, microwave here uh, just under cabinet there. Beautiful uh, farmhouse sink here by Blanco. Um, so it gives that undermount effect, but also gives the apron front, which is a really, really nice look. And it's a huge sink, single compartment sink. Um, so nice, good size sink there. Um, on this side, I mentioned the pot filler. So that sucker here just comes out. If you're making pasta or something, fill up your pot, slide it right back in. And there you go. You're off to the races making some nice pasta. Um, so we sort of separated here. Uh, fridge on this side, good bit of uh, countertop space there and storage in that on that side. Typically in these homes, like that's kind of used as like a bar, coffee, all that kind of stuff. And then these other countertops, including the island, tend to be more of your sort of working prep space. And then of course, from a storage perspective, we've got uh, walk-in pantry here, occupancy switch, so motion sensor switch. When you walk into the pantry, the uh, light comes on. Tons of good storage in there for all the uh, dry goods, canned goods, small appliances, all that good stuff. Um, and then just in behind me here, this is the dining room space and we are just waiting for a light fixture there. Uh, thank you COVID supply chain for that, but uh, huge window back in here and then There'll be a good sized table that sits here under what will be a future uh, uh, little nicer looking light fixture. And then this door here goes out to the rear porch, which I'll just take you out here really quick. So we got another door on that side, which goes to the master bedroom and it has raised and lower bl uh, blinds for privacy. Um, but yeah, just a beautiful um, covered porch up in here. And uh, looks out onto uh, farmland so it's going to be a great view and actually this customer has plans of doing a pool back in here at some point so that's going to be really nice too so uh, the porch itself is poured right in place it gets poured in with the uh, concrete foundation there's a frost wall four foot frost wall that gets poured in with the foundation wall right under this this porch here is completely indestructible um, so it's a nice solid feature there and then here you can kind of see some of the color scheme on the outside as well so turned out really nice with this nice light gray siding and white trims okay so we'll take you back in through um, 
We're gonna head now over to, this is a, a pocket door straight ahead of me here. Um, and this little pocket door is a little hideaway for the laundry room space. First off, pretty funky floor, really awesome vinyl floor there. Um, we've got washer and dryer in here. Nice bit of countertop over top there for folding and whatnot and a little bit of storage and uh, a drying rack there as well. So nice little hideaway laundry room here. Um, and then we just close that pocket door and forget about it. So uh, through here we come through a little bit of an alcove area. This brings us back to the master bedroom. Um, so good size master bedroom in here. Again, good size window. We've got a ceiling fan. We've got this laminate flooring running all throughout this bedroom as well. And then as I mentioned just a few minutes ago there, this goes out to that rear uh, covered porch as well with your raise and lower blinds on the uh, door there, uh, in glass blinds on the door there. So then we come through here and this is a bit of a uh, showstopper, I think anyways. Uh, this uh, ensuite bathroom turned out incredible. Um, first of all, really funky wood grain uh, vanity here. Again, all the black fixtures and accents. Um, black floor works really well with it as well too. So a double uh, vanity here with uh, quartz countertop again, undermount sinks, um, lots of storage here. We've got a little bit of a tower on this end for storage as well. And then the toilet just at the end. Straight through there is the walk-in closet. And right here we've done a custom shower. Um, nice sort of simple white tile with some black accenting on the glass around as well. And again with the black in the fixtures. And if I can just bring you into the shower here. We've done uh, some inlaid niches. So we've done a little bit of black accenting in those niches. And that's a shampoo niche there. And that's actually uh, for shaving your legs. It's a little step up, uh, uh, toe step up for shaving your legs. So nice little spot there as well. Um, and then we've got, let's get this door closed here. Freestanding tub down in here. Continued with the accenting on the tile uh, to give it a nice surround around this uh, uh, beautiful tub here and then a little bit of natural light, but still keeping with the privacy. We've done a, a piano window, two foot high piano window up in here. So it kind of keeps the light coming in, but the privacy uh, is maintained as well. And then we've got a nice black light fixture there as well. So nice kind of black and white with some warm tone accenting in this bathroom. Um, walk-in closet, huge walk-in closet in this uh, space as well. So Lots of room for all your nice clothes. Okay, so as I mentioned, uh, this house does have a fully finished basement. Um, so we'll take you down there. It's about just over a thousand square feet finished in the basement. Um, just before we do that actually too, we wanted to do this just a really simple railing detail here. So uh, painted white railing with some uh, black metal spindles. So just kind of keeping it nice and clean and uh, within the theme of the house. As we go down the stairs here, I'll also note um, we did solid surface um, maple stairs here. So all this has been stained, custom stained in place to sort of match some of the toning in the laminate floor. And then that carries right down to more laminate floor down in this finished basement. So we'll just head down here. Huge, absolutely huge rec room space down in here. So the customer in this case has lots of plans. From what I understand, there's gonna be a great big TV go on that wall. I think there's a pool table going somewhere back in here. And then there's some room back in this little uh, nook back here for a future bar. We've actually got some rough wiring there for a future bar that's coming uh, at a later date. So that'd be a nice spot to entertain as well. And then we've got an additional bedroom, bathroom and walk-in closet and a linen closet right through here. So a little bit more storage there as well. I'll take you in through the bathroom. Um, we did this really beautiful penny tile uh, in the bathroom here, really looks neat. Uh, again, white quartz countertop, undermount sink, sort of a bit of a theme as you'll notice and a really cool sleek sort of light fixture there as well. So really, really nice bathroom here. And then of course, this custom shower down in here, we did the stack seam. 
uh, tile work down in here. Again, black accenting on the, the frame of the glass. Um, black and white theme continues. And a little bit of that penny tile that's on the floor is in that shampoo niche right there. So it's just a beautiful, beautiful um, shower down in here. Okay, we'll continue through and bring you through to the bedroom. So again, it's just the one bedroom down here, good sized bedroom. Uh, again, carrying all this laminate flooring throughout this bedroom. Again, good size egress window and there you can see, <coughs> excuse me, there you can see our uh, faux stone uh, window wells, which we do as a standard, which just sort of, instead of looking at metal, it gives you something a little bit more interesting to look at. And then just through here, we've got a walk-in closet, um, huge walk-in closet actually down in this uh, uh, bedroom down here in the basement. So last but not least, we'll take you through to the utility space. Um, so a good bit of storage actually still down in here too. Um, this whole house, uh, we spray foamed all the outside walls, uh, foundation walls on this house. And this house actually tested at 0.69 air changes per hour at 50 Pascals, which is the best air leakage rate we've ever had. So improvement there has been excellent. A uh, couple things to note, uh, as always, we do a water softener system in every single house. Uh, we've got the water heater, tanked water heater right here. In this particular case, the customer requested a uh, water filtration system, so we've got a reverse osmosis uh, water filtration system right there, and uh, that goes up into the uh, fridge up in the kitchen, HRV. Um, just in behind me here, we've got our 96% efficient furnace as usual. So very, very efficient. And then again, lots of nice room for storage here. Radon mitigation pipe for future uh, potential radon mitigation. And then just back tucked away over here, we've got our 200 amp panel all looking clean as usual. So that's your tour for the day, guys. If you have any questions, uh, just drop them into the comments. Otherwise, we'll see you the next one and everybody have a Merry Christmas.